2016 GC32 Racing Tours concluding event, the Marseille One Design is into its final phase, so the teams are looking to get some vital points to improve their position in the season's overall standings. The third racing day of the GC32 Marseille One design started completely differently from the first two days with light winds and blue skies. Starting well was vital as the boats jostled for position all the way to the finish. Yeah, the starts are very interesting. It's a reaching start, so you reach your top speeds 10 seconds after the start and to have 12 boats all trying to achieve that is a difficult thing. So. Um, yeah, it's all about positioning and when you pull the trigger to go at the start line and um, some teams are very good at it and it's all it's a race to get up on your foils and full speed straight away. The rule situation is quite clear, the boats are very close together, but the ones to windward, that's the closer to the wind, must keep clear of the ones to leeward and the ones behind must keep clear of the ones in front. The next mark is the reach mark and that's your first mark and turning that mark um, the boat just accelerates so it's an extremely dangerous part of the race as well where people can crash off their foils and we've seen that a lot this year with big nose dives there and for boats behind it's quite scary when someone in front of you just suddenly stops when you're doing 30 knots. When they enter the three lens zone of the mark, if you enter and you're inside then you own the mark so you're able to do your rounding in the way you want to do it. And the third part of the race is the bottom mark and again you're coming in at 30 knots, 30, sometimes 35 knots to the bottom gate and there's a boat that's stopped on the mark trying to turn around it so again the drivers have to be very very skilled and very alert. We've set another mark six boat lengths away and this is to um, stop the boat turning immediately at the mark because that can be quite dangerous if you turn at the mark. Today the light winds made life difficult for both the race committee and the competitors. As a result, only one race could be completed before the race committee sent the boats ashore. Argo got the better start and consolidated, bringing her another step closer to the owner driver's championship title. Second was Norauto, who continued their good run of consistent results, followed by Mama Ayoto. So, um, not so easy for us, but uh, we're, we're bringing uh, good knowledge uh, from here and there to manage this event because we have injuries and a drop-off and uh, our owner obviously couldn't do this uh, race, um, so he's in Japan. But we're enjoying a lot and uh, very relaxed, we have no pressure on us, so um, the owner is happy if we stay safe. Final day of racing where we'll find out who will claim the title champions of the 2016 GC32 Racing Tour.